वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू द प्रीवियस वन वेयर वी हैव स्टडीड द नोडल एनालिसिस एंड वी हैव आल्सो फाइंड आउट हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट अननोन वोल्टेज इन एनी गिवन सर्किट सो एट लास्ट वी हैड सीन आउट ऑफ टू इक्वेशन आर वी वन एंड वी टू आर माइनस सिक्स एंड माइनस फोर्टी टू नाउ टूडे आई वुड शो यू वन मैथड वट वी कॉल एज अ क्रैमर्स रूल this is one of the methods uh, that will uh, help us to calculate voltage in a shorter amount of time so according to this rule what we can say is like what we have to create first is uh, we should know what is delta delta is basically formed by coefficients of v1 and v2 so if we know down my equations my first equation was 4v1 minus v2 equal to 18 and my second equation is 7v1 minus 13v2 is equal to 504 so so i can say as i said delta would be created by the coefficients of v1 and v2 so i can very well say then my delta is equal to 4 minus 1 7 and minus 13 now you need to solve it so it would be like 4 into 13 minus minus 1 into 7 so you would get minus sorry this is minus this is minus 52 plus 7 so the answer is minus 45 so your delta is minus 45 so we will note it down now let us come to delta 1 what is your delta 1 delta 1 is formed by replacing column 1 in delta by your right hand side of the equations so i can say my delta 1 is equal to so we are going to replace this first column with this side that is 18504 now again we will find the value it would be like 18 times minus 13 minus minus 1 times 504 so what you would get is uh, minus 234 plus 504 so the answer is 270 so your delta 1 is 270 we will note it down again now similarly what is delta 2 delta 2 is formed by replacing column 2 we will be replacing here column 2 by right hand side in delta so we are going to replace this column now so i can say that my delta 2 is equal to so the first column will remain same that is 4 and 7 and here we will replace it with the right hand side so this would be equal to 2016 minus 126 so you would get 1890 so your delta 2 is 1890 now as per this rule that is cramer's rule we can say v1 is delta 1 by delta and v2 is delta 2 by delta so simply put the values so v1 is minus of 270 by 45 okay so v1 will be minus 6 volts and similarly what is v2 v2 is delta 2 that is 1890 upon 45 minus is there because you my delta value is minus so again while solving it we would get v2 is minus 42 volts so this is the method that uh, we must use to calculate the unknown voltages in a given circuit as this method is uh, quick to solve compared to the other methods 
so we will see you in the next video where we will be solving some uh, other numericals based on nodal analysis so any questions that you are having you can put forward that in the comment section i would be very happy to answer that so thank you